Today we're going to be taking some JSON data and converting it to a PDF file. I have two different examples here. So the first one here is where I load all of the JSON data, which is an array, into one PDF file. And you can see it looks like this. But I also have an example where we just load one patient into one file. So I take the name of the patient as the PDF name and then all of the patient data. And this is what we're going to be taking a look at today. First, we have to import FS because we are working with the file system. Then we have to import PDF kit tables. This is a bit special because if I go ahead and open this file here, by default, PDF kit, which is the package which we're using, does not really have any capability of generating a table. So this person here, which I will leave a link in the description as well, but I also have a link up here and a name. He has made an excellent piece of code here, which makes this whole process very simple. And he goes ahead and imports this. And then he adds this table command on top of this library here. And uh, you can see the code here. All I changed was I added this here, which just says the font and the size. Other than that, it's just his library. So go ahead and check his article out on that. Now, the next thing is that we're loading in the PDF files from this JSON file here. So the JSON file is just this JSON file, which we created in a different video where we took some PDF data and converted it to JSON data. And now we're taking this JSON data and converting it back to a PDF format. Then I'm constructing the PDF document. Then I create a pipeline between document and this PDF file. Then I add the header and the header comes from this article here. So you can see the full code. There's way more examples on their page. And then I fill these different properties and that just adds the header. So that is uh, this header up here. Then I create the rows here, take all of the names of the rows, and then I define the rows as being empty because we're going to be loading in the data later. Then I loop through each of the patients and then pushing it into these rows here. And then I'm pushing in the patients that name, address, phone number, birthday, email, blood type, height, and, and weight. They get pushed into this array here, which constructs the data for the table. Then I draw the table we'll at 10, so it has top and left properties and then I have a width. Then I finalize the document by running the end command on the document that will finish the stream and save out the file. If we run this file here, you can see that we get this PDF file and the PDF file we would have gotten is this file right here. Let's take a look quickly at this example here. Very similar. But instead of doing one file, I have patients folder up here. And then I loop through each of the patients. I create a new file for each patient, loop the same header on, just load in one entry instead of pushing all of the things inside of it. And then I just draw the table and finish it. That will generate these two examples here. So very quick overview, but it's a relatively simple program. So hopefully see you in the next one. Hope you learned something. Bye.